Hello everybody, this is Scout 100 and welcome back to some more Fire Emblem. In the previous episode, we had moved on to Chapter 6, Blood of Pride. In this episode, we're going to be moving on to Chapter 7, Siblings Abroad. If you like what you see, leave a like down below. Comment if you have anything to say. Uh, 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 subscribe to me if you haven't already and share with your friends so they can enjoy this adventure as well. Now, in last chapter we had gained two new units we had gained the thief Matthew and the and the nomad wrath unfortunately um, for my part in being hasty and trying to defeat the boss I actually made an error now if hopefully I'll be able to put up a picture on screen if I remember um, in the northeastern corner uh, where that guard was standing there was another a door in in that door was a chest and in that chest contained a um, armor slayer so obviously it, by its name an armor slayer is good against armored units so that is a lost um, lost opportunity I do apologize for that um, but it's no big deal we were able to take out boo uh, boo 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 whatever just fine but with all that out of the way, let's move on to Chapter 7, Siblings Abroad. Lin takes your leave of Arafin, uh, finding no aid from its spiteful Marquis. Now she and her companions resume their march toward Kaylin in earnest. Racing against time with their grandfather's life as the prize, harried and... Uh, race, uh, grandfather's life as the prize. Harried and impatient, Lin presses onward. Suddenly, a young boy appears and pleads for their assistance. Please, somebody, someone, please help. That's enough. Get out of here. I want none of your trouble. But sir, why? You were so kind yesterday. I thought you were just a couple... You were just two kids, a couple of traveling performers. If those men are chasing you, you must be up to no good. Now, get up and get out. You're playing on decent folk. But... Oh, what a mess. Hmm. Where are we, Kent? This is, uh, Cathelet? I think, Cathelet? If we head due south, we'll pass into Kaylin. From here, I'd say we're about ten days' ride to Castle Kaylin. Assuming we don't run into any delays, of course. Ten days. Pardon me, but... Uh, yes, can I help you? You and your friends... Uh, are you mercenaries? And if we are? I need your help. Milady Lindis, you mustn't let your guard down, not even for a child. I know. Forgive me, but we're in a hurry. Is there someone else you can ask? There's no time, Ninian's been... It's my sister, some men have taken her away. Your sister? Did you say your sister's been accosted? Sane. That's right, by some cruel, awful men. I don't know what I'll do without Ninian. Milady Lindis, we must help him. Nonsense! We have no- we haven't the time. If the Marquis is as ill as we've heard, we must proceed. Kent, I- I'd want to help this child. The lady? I'm worried about my grandfather, of course. But this! I cannot stand by and let a child be taken from her home. Uh, I see. I'm sorry, Kent. I am your loyal retainer. You owe me no apologies. You must do as your heart dictates, my lady. I will follow you no matter where that may lead. Thank you. Such a noble speech. Ever the true knight, that one. Ah, well. You're in luck, laddie. Let's go get your sister. Will you lead us into to the men who's done this? Uh-huh. They're really tough, so be careful. Just leave them to us. We're pretty tough ourselves, right, Robert? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Found him. Come on, it's back to Nurgle with you. Quiet now. No, no, let, let, let Ninian go. We ain't supposed to kill you, but we can sure rough you up. Get him. Huh? Who 
do you think you are? Lin! Let the boy's sister go. Ha, <laughs> so you want to help the kid, huh? What a shame, you're gonna die for something that doesn't concern you. You think so, don't do you? Do we look so meek to you? I think you're in for a terrible shock. Stupid girl, you regret those words. Take him down, boys! Okay! Oh, shit. Ah! I hate pop-ups. It just takes me to another thing. Alright. Um. This is our first preparation screen, so I'll, I'll, I'll go over it pretty quickly. Um. We have a certain number of units that we can take, and I guess since we upped the boundary, we can now choose who we're going to take, which actually works out very well. Um. As I said before, when picking your units, uh, your lord has to stay in the party at all times. Now, with Sacred Stones, it's different, but I'll, I'll explain that later. Um, so, I'll be doing all the preparations off-screen, so you guys don't have to sit through that trade. If um, if your unit has a an item that doesn't belong to them, but can go to somebody else, you can trade it in this screen. It's pretty simple. Um... There are other things here. There's a list of everything that everybody has. Um, and then, like, use if it's, like, for example, the angelic robe. Um, these three we'll worry about later. Check map. It's pretty simple. You can check the map for enemies and surrounding areas. You can start to plan your attack that way. Um, let's see there. You can also choose your formation, which you can switch up the, the starting points to your party. And, um, options don't need to worry about. And then, obviously, you can save. So, I will see you guys back here when I am done preparing. Alright, I am all done with my preparations. Uh, I guess it would just be simpler to show you here. I switched out, um, Sane. I decided I'm going to be using Kent for this playthrough. Uh, at least for now, and I switched out Will for Wrath. So, that's pretty much it. I have already saved, and we have nothing else to do, so let's start fighting! I see we're facing a shaman, Robert. I've heard that... Um, I heard that practitioners of the Dark Arts are fearsome foes. We have to be careful. W what? Who are you? Mm. Um. Please forgive me. I never meant to stall for you. Your robes. They look like religious ves vestiary. Are you an Elim... Elimine? Elimine? Bishop? Yes. Well, no. I'm only an acolyte, an Elimine monk, to be specific. My name's Lucius. Do you have business, business with us? I was at the inn when this child came seeking help. The innkeeper was afraid to get involved. He was unpleasant. I wasn't afraid of him. I'm used to being treated that way. That's awful. May I please lend you my services? I truly wish to help the boy, if only a little. Of course. Thank you very much. The blessing of Saint Elimine um, be upon you. Okay, well, here's my problem with Lucius. He can either be a really good character, or could be he could turn out to be really crappy. The only the other problem is he's the only unit that you get that can use light magic. So, if you want to have a light magic user on the team, you have to use Lucius. Um, he's okay in terms of stats. He's fast. He's fast to begin with, which I which I like. Um, and then, oh shit, yeah, just turn them in this one. Um, and we also have Nils. Nils is a bard. Um, now, for anybody who knows about the Fire Emblem games, bards have a special ability which allow you, which allow you to use a unit to play for another unit to get. Uh, basically, you can have a return on a unit. You can have a, a unit move again. The thing with Nils. Uh, is that his avoid is really really high since he can't attack so that's that's a good thing um, now there is a um, 
a turn limit for this chapter because uh, there is a guide in chapter in this one. And in, or in order to get chapter 7x, we are going to have to uh, finish this in 15 turns or less. So just keep that in mind. It shouldn't be that hard. Realistically, I could probably finish it up in like two or three if I use Florina, but I do want to get people some experience. So, on with the show. Uh, yeah, that'll work. And also, keep in mind that for later, by the end of Lin's playthrough, um, in order to get another chapter, you are going to need to get Nils up to level 7. Yeah, and guess what? Bards can only gain levels if they play for people, just like clerics can only gain levels if they heal, so... It's gonna be complicated. So, as I said before, now that we've encountered three types of magic, um, light magic is, is strong against dark magic, dark magic is strong against anima magic, and then anima magic is strong against, um, uh, light magic. So that is the weapon triangle in terms of, um, in terms of, of magic. Now, unfortunately, bars, they only get 10 experience, so you're going to have to play a lot, and there's going to be a, there's going to be a cut. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, when we get to later chapters where there isn't a um, turn restriction, um, there's going to be a cut well, I'm, where I'm, like, trying to build up uh, Nils' levels. Um, that's also going to be the same thing with supports and arena abuse, but again, we'll get to that later when we encounter those things. Okay, now that we've gotten rid of that, uh, shaman, let's visit the house. Whoa. Whoa, hello. Different music. It's quite the group you got yourself involved with. You know they're facing the Black Fang, right? And when they talk, it winds up, well, you know. No one escapes the Fang, that's what they say anyway. You and those odd children, I'd say you're finished. Not that I'll have any part of it. Curse not. Interesting. Alright, well, let's use Matthew to visit the other house. Hmm, maybe I should get some firewood out of it. Hmm? Who's there? Who are you? Uh, oh, you're passing through. Pay me no mind, I was just thinking out loud. You see, there's an old tree on the other side of this mountain. It's just a dead old snag, really. I was thinking of a way I can put it to good use. As I said, nothing that needs to concern you. I beg to differ. Hmm, I mean, let's get to that village. Alright, so I'm definitely, like, taking this one step at a time. So we need to finish this within 15 turns, so... Just keep that in mind. Uh, that, that. You can reach over there. You still can't double attack? Come on, Florina, get with the times! Alright, um. Let's have Urk get a hit. Nils is all the way back there. That's not happening. Right, let's see. Nice! Free iron lance for me. That works. Uh, that's work. Weapon triangle. Right. Let's take a look at everybody's... Right. Urk seems okay for now. You might need another iron sword. You're good. Another iron bow doesn't hurt. Wait, how's the heal? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Alright, well, maybe get another iron sword or two. 
we'll actually use... I guess we'll just use lid. Oh, it's a vendor, not a... Well, okay. Um, another heal, and another fire. If we use it correctly, that's all we're going to need for the rest of the game, so... Alright, wait, what's your... Oh, uh, yeah. Perfect. Do the seventy, uh, yeah, seventy times. Ugh. There you go, Florida, dodging for the win. Level ups would have been better. Oh, okay, weapon level. That works. Let's get Wrath on the field. A miss? Two misses? What? Oh, he's on a mountain. Okay. I'll take that as a as uh, an excuse. Oh, that's right, kid. I was I half expected Kent to be able to double attack and I don't know why. Alright, so where Lucius is. Just trying to plan out everything. Oh, shoot, I messed up. Alright, well, whatever. And still play. Right. We heard it. We heard him play, so I'm probably gonna be speeding it up a little bit now. Let's visit here. See what we got. How much do you know about magic, huh? Magic attacks are special. You can't just avoid them like a sword or an axe. Not even if you're wearing armor. What's tough against magic? Hmm. Let me think. Well, anyone who uses magic or staves, Pegasus Knights too. Hmm. You got others who need who need to battle magic users. I got something for him. It's a special kind of water. Pure water, it's cold. Just sprinkle a bit on you, it'll protect you and lessen the damage. Take a, you take a bit. Come on, take it. Don't be so shy. It's not like I'm giving you gold or anything. This stuff's strongest when you first put it on. It gets weaker as time passes, so be careful. I don't really use pure waters, but whatever. It's nice to have, I suppose. Mountain tile. Okay. Uh, actually, Florina can do something like this. I hope there there weren't any archers over there. No, there aren't. Okay. Can Wrath... No. No. I can do this. And miss. Oh, that's not Wrath, that's Kent. Dang it. Stupid mountain tiles. Alright, you know what? I can still take care of this brigand, or at least start to... Ugh, start to take him out. Alright, well, Wrath, and then you go around. You have no more use. Then let's see if Lucius can do it. Well, Lucius has a better hit rate. Uh, let's see, five. Nice! And, oh, you can't get over there. Dang it. Or oh, can't now. Can't. <laughs> You say, or can you, but no, that's not possible. Uh, do 
that, get Sarah out of the way. I hate these narrow passages, to be honest. Well, that didn't do me much good. Oh, well. Oh, shoot, that's not good. Yikes! Uh oh. Escaped with one hell. Thank goodness for Pegasus Knight's resistance. Ugh. <laughs> it's risky moves like that that get me killed. Oh, dang it, Sarah. All right. Um, what are we at in terms of levels? Six, five, uh, I don't have any dark magic on me. Dang it. I do have anima magic, but for some reason. Oh, duh. Can't go, can't, can't, cannot go that way. Well, yeah, let's get Lucius some more experience. Is it enough? Nope, not for a level up. Okay, yeah, we're gonna get some, some of them going on the other side. Shoot, I should have equipped the Iron Axe. I mean, that is the Iron Axe, the Hand Axe. Matthew some experience in all reality. Uh right, it won't be Lynn, get out of the way. Here, I suppose. So Matthew is the only. No wrath, get out of the way. Let's get let's get Matthew some experience. That was probably better. Well, he got some experience. Okay. Oh, pray for a crit. Pray for a crit. Actually, no, don't pray for a crit. Matthew can probably finish this guy off. At a risk, that's for sure, but... Yes, and no. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. Forest tiles for the win. Alright, and then... Can Serena take this guy? No, she's way down. Alright, no matter. Worst comes to worst, somebody can just rescue Matthew. Can't get over the mountain, there we go. gonna do. Yep. Yeah. Matthew
attack you with the dodge. Really playing this close to the chest. Alright, we can do this. Get Florina a little bit more experience and then go with Matthew with the kill. Holy, alright, alright. Well, we only have two more to worry about, so... No! Oh, crap. Well, there goes that opportunity for the day. Visit. Oh, well, whoops. Blast! Elliewood's late. I wonder what's keeping him. Start starting to think my axe will rust before he finds his way here. That was certainly odd. Alright, we'll be able to finish this off in 15. this, whoop, do this, 40, what, where'd all the spirits come from, never mind, and, yeah, let's start healing everybody up, mm, okay, Overall, I'm never really happy with Sarah, but yeah, that was that was that was okay. Lynn can go on ahead. Lynn doesn't need to be healed. Alright, Florina is probably the best bet because you know she can actually take a hit from magic attacks. Yes, yes, awesome. That's what I wanted. Do this, and then we can heal up Dork. Oh crap! We can heal up Dorcas as well, which I noticed I haven't. Been, I know I haven't been using, but it's all in due time. I'm trying to get everybody else caught up in terms of levels. Uh, I'll give it a shot. That's a good level up right there. Perfect. Don't be a glass cannon like before. Okay, uh, you gotta remember that, um, that, uh, magic users can go from near and far away, so, uh, it's kind of difficult to set up for an attack for a, for a magic user, but... We'll, we'll get to it. We'll just we'll just have to do it from three spaces instead of one. Uh, who needs healing? Lorena needs healing. How's Lorena doing? All right, well, she can get another hit on the boss. Uh, right, so we want. Yeah, Irk is gonna just go down here. Uh, 
Maybe, can, maybe Kent. I don't know. What turn are we at anyway? Twelve. Okay, no time for doodling, dawdling around. And there we go. Who else needed heals? Is that it? I guess Matthew needs a little bit more healing, but. Well, let's start attacking the boss while we're here. Who are you supposed to be? Playing the her heroes in some foolishly nightly romance? You may think you're helping the children, but you're only rushing to your doom. Oh wow, okay, level 5 shaman, and no more experience after that. That's interesting how they don't show an experience bar. But, his attack isn't that bad, especially if you have higher resistance. So. Uh, I guess Lucius is going to get a level up next turn. Next. Next chapter. How am I gonna how am I gonna approach this? I could get Urk to Urk or Lucius to, to attack again. Could do that. I'll kill two birds with one stone. Yeah, I think I'll do that. See what I mean? Like, either his level ups are amazing or they suck. And this time, it sucked. Florina, don't let me down. You were only striking at air. You are too late. The girl is already. Really? Look for. What's with these level ups? Nils, where's your sister? Ninian? She's not here. Why? Where, she, where could she be? My lady, my lady Lindis, a villager spotted a group of men riding south. The boy's dear sister. They must have her. Come, we must give chase. But, but we won't make it. What if they've already... Are you looking for this girl here? Ninian! Ninian! She'll be fine. She just lost consciousness. Who are you? I'm Elliewood of Foray. My father is, Mar is the Marquis. The Marquis's son. She was with a band of ruffians. She seemed upset. She looked in need of rescuing. Was I wrong to involve myself? No. You saved her life. Thank you. My name is Lynn. I'm from Sake. I'm Marquis Kaylin's granddaughter. Marquis Kaylin. And that's my story. It's not an easy tale to believe, I know. No, I do believe you. What? At first glance, all I saw was daughter of the plains folk. Now I can see it though. You have your grandfather's eyes. Do you know my grandfather? The Marquis, Lord Housen, is my father's good friend. I also know that the proud people of Sakei tell no lies. It's true, isn't it? Yes. Thank you. I would not, would not have expected any Lycian noble to be so courteous to a Sakaian nomad. You seem to be in trouble. May I be of assistance? Thank you for your kind offer. This is my pro this is my problem though, and I'll deal with it. I see. I'll be in the area for a few days longer. If there's anything you need, please let me know. Lindis, I'm on your side. Anywood, thank you. Ninian, are you awake? Nils, is it really you? Oh, you're safe. Uh huh. These people help me. Who are they? Uh. I'm Lin. I'm glad to see you're feeling better. Lady Lin, thank you. I'm called Ninian. 
My brother Nils and I are traveling performers. Both of you. Your brother's a musician. How about you, Ninian? I... I dance. What? Oh, you... Oh my, you're a dancer. Sane. Later, please. Um, yes, of course. A dancer? Your clothes don't look, do look those of a dancer. Ninian does dances to honor life. It's special. Sacred. A sacred dance? What does that mean? I... The dance I perform when we travel is just a normal dance. My other dance, though, when they caught me, I twisted my ankle. I cannot dance to aid you. I I'm sorry. Please don't worry. We're just happy to see that you're out of harm's way. Thank you. But I'm concerned about your leg. You can't travel on it. I have an idea. Would it be so much to ask that we travel with you? I can't allow that. It's far too dangerous. We're being hunted. We never know when we're going to be attacked. We wouldn't be a hindrance. We could even help you. Right, Ninian? Yes. We might be able to repay our debts using our special talents. Special abilities. When someone, something poses a threat to us, we can sense it approaching. Truly? That's amazing. We can feel it coming, but we can't do anything to stop it. You're worried, though, so you, you don't have to worry. What do you think, Ken? I think leaving them here would cause the Le Lindus more worry than having them travel with us. Sane? Uh, never mind. I know what your answer is. Do you really want to travel with us? Of course. You have our gratitude, Milady. Oh. What's wrong, Ninian? I've lost my ring. Your ring? Not Ninny's Grace. The very one. They stole it? Those curs! Was it valuable? It was a keepsake from our departed mother. It was blessed by the spirits of Ninus. There is none other like it in the world, and now we have lost it to those villains. There's nothing we can do. You're right. Can I talk to you, Robert? You heard all of that, right? What do you think? I'd love to retrieve Ninian's ring for her, but if Nils is right, those seas might prove to be too strong for us. What should we do? Yeah, we're going on the side quest! It's more story! Ugh. Either way. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going on the side quest. Besides, it's good training, too, and we could probably get Nils' level up. So it's a win-win-win. Yeah, we're going on the side quest. You want to help them? That's great. I was hoping you'd say that, Robert. Kent, same. There's men we're headed south. We must give pursuit. On your word, my lady. There's no turning back now. Let's ride. Okay. So we were in this. So we met up with Nils and Ninian, two special performers, a bard and a dancer, and we were introduced to the group called the Black Fang. Now, that's going, that, the music, their theme music alone told us all that we needed to know. But, in the next episode, we are going to be moving on to chapter 7X, um, which is the guiding chapter, which I don't know the name of, please forgive me, give me a minute, um, The Black Shadow. So, until then, I will see you guys later.